So I'm going to be doing a throwback story here. Throwback Thursday, Thursday throwback, whatever. Um, it's another... Um, it's actually a story about two dogs. Or not, well, two dogs, not four dogs. Two dogs, Buddy and Teddy. Um, well, you know Buddy. You all knew Buddy. But, uh... Did you know Teddy? Well... Teddy passed away in 2019. We had him for 14 years. He was he was um, a Newfoundland lab dog, and uh, he um, unexpectedly passed away um, back in 2019. I remember he was doing pretty good. At, well, he wasn't doing pretty good, but he was okay that day. The day that he passed away. I remember that he just went. He it was so quick that he passed away. It wasn't like you know he was suffering throughout the day. He just that night he just passed away. Um, I don't know, but it was really uh, sudden. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about the memories, the good times we had. But anyway. Um, Everybody knew about Teddy, or no, about Buddy, but not a lot of people probably didn't know about Teddy. Um, back in 2019, I didn't have as many subscribers as I have now. Actually, I don't even think I had 100 subscribers, actually. I think I only had, like, maybe... Maybe I had 100, but I didn't have that many subscribers. Um, so, anyway, a lot of people that are new to this channel, that have been on this channel for, like, the past two years or so... Um, really only knew Buddy, uh, because, like, like I said, my newer subscribers really only knew Buddy, so, Teddy was my other dog, Teddy passed away, like I said, in 2019, um, now, you know how Buddy was all, like, mellow and everything, he was the nicest dog ever, Teddy was not mean to, towards me, or my mom, or my sister, my stepdad, or anybody in the family or friends, but he was aggressive towards strange strangers and um, other dogs, besides like the family dogs and Buddy. He was not aggressive towards Buddy. He was not aggressive towards like family members that had dogs, um, but he was aggressive towards other. Strictly male dogs. Um, even the neighbor's Doberman over here. They had a Doberman pincher named Bane. Oh, him and Teddy did not get along. Teddy um, <laughs> flipped him over one time with his nose. Yeah. One time. This was. Oh, I don't know. This was probably like 2015 I think. Yeah this was. Seven years ago. 2015 was seven. Wow. Anyway. This was like seven years ago. In 2015 and or it's actually close to eight years ago but it was seven years ago I remember Teddy was outside we had a we had him on like a, a leash because we didn't have the fence the fence was put up only like two three years ago or so um, but anyway four maybe four years ago but this fence that we have is fairly new because um, we actually had to put it up because for like privacy and stuff and also the dogs um but anyway the fence wasn't up at the time and Spain used to come over just come over you know um because there was no fence there so Bane would just come over and I think he knew he would he would know that Teddy didn't like him so one day I watched it too Teddy took his nose and and flipped Bane over, and Bane went that way. He went back to the neighbor's house. He didn't try to do that again. The neighbor tried to have Teddy and Bane to get along, and they just wanted to see if Teddy would get along with Bane. Maybe it was just maybe Teddy was scared. Nope, that was not the good idea. Um, Teddy did not get along with other dogs, other male dogs. Maybe female dogs, too. I don't know. 
mostly male dogs. He was okay with female dogs. He still kind of growled and stuff, but male dogs, that was a no-no. That was no. That was a no-no. That, that was... We had to make sure Teddy would not go after male dogs on our walks. And if any loose dogs would come after Teddy. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. Even dogs that were really aggressive, like pit bulls and cane corsos and uh, rottweilers. They would probably be no match for Teddy. Teddy was 10 times the size of them. But still, we didn't want to chance it. We didn't want Teddy to get hurt, because you never knew about these other dogs. Or we didn't want the other dogs to get hurt, either. I remember this one time, I was living in Champlain. This was, like, in... <laughs> probably, like, ten years ago. We were walking, and Teddy was, um... On the leash, and there was this German Shepherd. Came barreling out, and... The guy had, didn't even have him on a leash, and the dog was aggressive towards people, too. And the dog come running out aggressive towards me and my mom, my cousin, my aunt, my grandmother. Teddy protected us, snapped at the dog. The dog went going that way, and Teddy didn't even get one one bite from that dog. He, he bit the dog, and Teddy went, and the other dog went that way. He was protecting us because the dog was aggressive towards people, too. So, it wasn't just aggressive towards Teddy. Teddy didn't like other dogs, really. Other dogs besides family dogs and Buddy. Teddy and Buddy got along really good. Teddy and Buddy got along really good. It was just with other dogs. So, if you didn't know who Teddy was, that was my dog, Teddy. But anyway, I'll be talking about story... One time, I was living in Champlain. This is a, this is, I don't know, this is probably close to like, I was probably like 11 or 10, maybe 11, 12 or something. I was about 12 years old, and I remember I was bringing Buddy for a walk, and it was at my old house, and the fence wasn't that high. The fence is still not that high there. It's the same fence. The same fence that we had is still there at my old house. And Teddy jumped over the fence. And he wanted to make sure that me and Buddy were going to be okay. Because he didn't want me and Buddy to... I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. But he jumped over the fence and came running... And he, I, I just called him. He was a good dog. He was good by calling. So he just wanted to make sure that me and Buddy were okay to walk. So I walked back to the house because Teddy got out of the fence. And he listened pretty well, too. <laughs> and he, uh, like I said, he didn't... He didn't, like, ignore my my instructions to go back home. He actually went back home with me when I went with Buddy back home. And, um, so that, that was, that was a good thing about Teddy. He was very, he listened very well. Buddy, too. Even though Buddy, towards the end, he couldn't really hear at all because, you know, he was getting older. But Buddy listened, too, and Teddy, and actually Buddy was listening. He just couldn't hear anyway that's a thursday throwback story right there of buddy and teddy